And good evening. We're glad you're with us on a Monday. I'm Tim Seaman. Sophie has the evening off. But it looks like thousands of Woodbury County absentee ballot request forms will need to be invalidated. A district court judge today saying that he won't revisit an earlier ruling in support of Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate's order that those pre-printed forms are illegal. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez joins us tonight from Woodbury County Courthouse to explain the financial impact the ruling is expected to have on the county and what's next for all those voters. Lydia? Tim, Woodbury County is one of three Iowa counties to be sued for pre-populating absentee ballot request forms. In Woodbury County alone, 56,000 forms have been mailed out. Now, County Auditor Pat Gill will need to notify each voter that the forms sent to them will not be accepted, and that will cost money. District Court Judge Patrick H. Tott ruled Friday to invalidate thousands of absentee ballot request forms sent out by Woodbury County. Former Iowa State Senator Rick Bertrand is now calling for Woodbury County Auditor Pat Gill to resign over the pre-populated forms. Pat Gill, um, what he did was not a mistake. It was illegal. Um, the courts ruled that, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Gill has now put the county in a financial and a uh, in an election crisis mode, um, and I think he needs to go. It's going to be a huge cost. We have estimated about 175000 to the county. But the bigger thing is there is going to be people that are going to be confused. There is going to be voter suppression. And there will be voters disenfranchised in November because of Mr. Gill's illegal actions. On Monday, Gill's attorneys filed a motion to reconsider the temporary injunction, saying the district court did not address all of Auditor Gill's arguments, stating in part, the Secretary of State lacked authority to issue his emergency election proclamation on July 17, 2020. State law does not prohibit the county auditor from mailing pre-populated absentee ballot request forms. Gill estimates it will cost the county around $20,000 just to notify each person who received a pre-populated absentee ballot request form. Woodbury County Supervisor Matt Potabom says that money will come from the auditor's budget. We don't sell widgets. All of our money is tax money. But we just set his budget out of the tax askings of the county. And it's up to him to decide what to do with that budget. But other than that, he does not answer to us. He doesn't need our permission to do things. Judge Todd says county auditors must send out blank absentee ballot request forms. Now, today I spoke with Gill's attorney. They told me they are now in the process of evaluating options to appeal the temporary injunction in the Iowa Supreme Court. Reporting live from the Woodbury County Courthouse, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.